what's going on Libras I feel like you guys are um, opening up new psychic abilities you're getting more insight and more awareness you may have asked your angels to give you insight to cleanse your third eye or maybe you've been cleansing it uh, with white angelica or just rubbing it or visualizing uh, your third eye opening up you could have been asking or you're needing to ask for Archangel Odin to open up your third eye so you can obtain these spiritual gifts that are coming in feel that very heavily for you guys uh, you Libras um, let's clear out the energy I'm not sure which deck I want yet it's like a clean slate that you're doing here you're starting off fresh you're starting off new so that's that's good to see I like that Libra so let's cleanse you out first before I get a deck take a deep breath I'm going to cleanse out all my cards over here. So let's see. Where do we want to go? All right. I'm feeling very mythical. So you may like mythology, Libra. Mythology. Okay. Oh, on the bottom of the deck is an emperor. You could be gaining your maturity. You're growing up. You're growing up now. All right. So you may have been in a very childlike energy in the past, needing and wanting validation or needing to be, you know, under somebody. But maybe now you're understanding, like, I could be the boss. Like, I'm the motherfucking boss. I'm the boss. Nobody's going to boss me around, you know. I have the right chess pieces uh, to to network like you could be a really good networker you could you know really um like people people may very like be very attracted to wanting to be around you there's like a sisterhood or a, a brotherhood uh of you and people here there's up to three three people that you just feel like uh, very very nice with very like a lot of togetherness all right you could have recently uprooted yourself here and really you, you've become single, uh, independent, um, investing in yourself, prioritizing yourself, keeping yourself in high regard. Uh, you could have started over yanking yourself from one spot and placing yourself into another spot. Excuse me, reaching, reaching for your finances, reaching for this really solo boss energy that you've received so you went from the nine of pentacles to the emperor regardless of gender it doesn't matter and the emperor twice damn so you could you could be the same sex uh partnership so you could be gay or lesbian emperor meets emperor or this could be that you you are connecting with someone so the emperor it shows as a male right masculine this could be too masculine. So uh, you are connecting with someone also masculine. Both of you coming up as masculines. So no nonsense, boss. Boss in it. This could be job related too. With all this networking that you're doing. And this money. Placing money in different places. Really nice. Libro. What is going on with Libra? Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Yeah, you're not really... No. You're not really worried about what the past brought, was bringing. It's kind of sideways over here. You're really not focused on past events or people in your past. Scorpio energy. Um lord of pleasure you're you're focused more on pleasure you know the things that bring pleasure in your life uh you are waiting for your ships to come in you are manifesting greatness in your life you're manifesting to become really passionate about your new endeavors you could be wanting to travel in the future 
Magnus or Magnum uh, Power. The Magus, Magus Power. So you could be the Lone Ranger right now. And it's been a long haul for you. You're, you're becoming established, Lord of Established Strength. So you're gaining, you're establishing yourself and gaining your strength here, Libra. Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So this is past influence. I feel that you felt like you were stuck in your mental conflicts and you were rocking back and forth, not knowing where to put your time and attention or your money or where things were coming from. You didn't, you weren't established. You were floaty. Floating in the Netherlands. It could be from the Netherlands. Um, Libra, what's going on with the Libras? Libra, you could be connecting or you're moving towards a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could connect with Hawks. Uh, somebody may be in a wheelchair. Or this is how you felt. You, were, you felt wounded by this King of Cups. Yeah, you felt wounded. You felt like there was lack energy between you and this person. There was a lot of trouble. There might have been um, material. Like somebody was just trying to take your material. Um, they were just trying to get material wealth from you. Waters, Walters. Um, okay, so this is all past right here. Libra energy, Libra. Um, Libra, yeah, Ten of Swords. This person heavily rejected you. They ruined a part of you, but you're coming out of feeling backstabbed or rejected by this person it could have been a Gemini a Gemini that you were dealing with it's like shattered your heart yeah all right so we know what happened in the past let's get off the past because they're pushing through four, four of pentacles you were, you were just you guarding you're guarding your heart now from this nine of swords yeah you're coming out of the mental conflict Coming out of it. You're holding really tightly to your worth and not letting anybody come in and fuck up your mental or your heart space here. All right, how are you moving? I'm really digging these cards today. Hold on, we're gonna keep going. Um, yeah, despair, cruelty. Somebody was like really cruel with you. But that, that's ending. What's moving forward? What's coming in for Libra moving forward? I think you're going to be going to some type of seminars. The Foolish Man. So, the Fool card. You're leaping. Yeah, you don't care if you look foolish to people. You're just like, I'm going to go after what I want. I'm going to take risk. I'm I'm not going to fear the unknown because fear is, is an illusion. Fear just causes anxiety. Let me just leap into what I feel intu intuitively is right for me. So that third eye is going to direct you into some good shit. You may have, you know, you need time to hermit. You need time to go into in, in introspection. But this is going to be moving very quickly for you. There's not a, a lot of... Uh, stuck energy but I do feel that you're going to take a moment in time uh, to reflect and to become wiser about where you're headed uh, so you're not just leaping people may see that you're just leaping into shit but you've been sitting thinking and becoming wiser about the moves that you're going to be making so that's where the hermit mode comes in introspection Virgo energy like just sitting on your ideas, but being very sh being very hushed about it. So when you break out and you just start making moves, people are like, what the fuck are you doing now? <laughs> like, what are you doing now? Yeah, once you come out with good communication, you're like, oh, by the way, I'm going to be moving to Spain. Or I'm going to be... Um, starting an art gallery or you know 
Or I'm, I'm like, re I'm rooting myself. I'm uprooting myself. I feel like you guys are going to be uprooting yourself. I'm uprooting. Well, this is what you did. Like, I'm just uprooting myself. And I'm going over here. People are like, wait, what? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Yeah, bitches. Yeah, bitches. Nine of Pentacles. I'm single. I'm abundant. I got the money. I got stability. I, I, I'm the boss. I could do whatever the hell I want. I could go wherever the hell I want. Lovers. I want to go to the, towards this lover, this Gemini. I could go towards that Gemini. So you're going to have a lover here that you're going towards. There's a dragon. a dragon or a snake it looks like a dragon snake to me Cupid's arrow Sagittarius energy it looks like a Chinese dragon to me maybe I'm just hallucinating but um, that's what you're saying basically yeah. there's a um, heavy Virgo here so this person may be a Virgo. Who's this lover for the Libras? Yeah, you're not going to sit around waiting for people to fill into you. You're not taking anything other than a full cup of love. You're not going to take like mini cup of love from this person. Mini cup, like four different types of cups of love. You're just like, no, I'm waiting for my full-fledged cup of love. Blended pleasure. So you could be blending families. You could have uh, up to four kids here. If not, you are blending nationalities. Like you're blending food. I see lots of food. So you're sharing meals with people of different ethnicities. Libra, who's this lover? Princess of Swords in reverse. So they they're not insecure and they don't they don't lack communication. They're very good with communication. They will bear it. This person will bear it all to you. See, she naked. Somebody wants to see you naked. You got nice luxury lug. <laughs> no, I heard luxury. Uh, so there's going to be luxury here, but. Um, not luxurious luxury luxurious like there's gonna be like you're just gonna feel really rich but voluptuous you're very you got really nice thick hips libra energy lovers and princess of swords so somebody is wanting to grab a hold of you and take you on as their responsibility here with the um, the Ten of Wands. Usually I see the Ten of Wands as like burden, but this person is just like scooping your ass up, Libra, Justice card. They're like, you are the yin to my yang. Like, <laughs> see? How uh, the yin yang are like separate. You guys come together and it's going to be really justified, really balanced between the two of you. Very nice. And this is, this is a uh, feminine. So somebody, so we started the read by saying you both in your masculine energy. I think somebody, this masculine energy is going to allow you to be in your feminine energy. So they are the yang to your yin or the yin to your yang. And I've learned how to say the yin and yang. I used to say yin and yang. It's not Chinese. It's yang. And it's also one word. It's not two words. Yin yang. Not yin yang. The empress. Yep. That, what did I say? The yin to your yang. Empress. Empress. Emperor, balance, 
unjustified connection. Bosses, you have two bosses here. And there may be multiple people trying to grab at your asses. Battlegrounds. But you have a blessed tower here. It's a blessed tower. It's a secure, structured tower between the two of you. Very strong structure between the two of you. That nobody can shatter this tower. No one can do that. Mm -mm. Wow, this is nice. Get down with it. Claim it. If you want this, if you're not having this right now, claim this shit. And it shall be yours. Magician, you are the master manifester. I'm telling you, you your spiritual gifts are, are be, being heightened. You just got all the right tools here. Really nice. Very nice. Let's pick out a different deck here. I think you're very unique. I think you are undefined. Just go with what you do, what you feel. Libra, what, this emperor, empress. What, what's up with this person? You both could be parents. Don't have to be. So, Son of Swords. This is in reverse. Sneaky energies. This person doesn't come in sneaky or deceiving you. Taurus, Libra, Aries, the Moon. Yeah. The moon and the seven of swords. You may be used to like these energies. These like fly by night energies. These thieves, pickpocketers, Cancer Pisces. Yeah, no, I, I don't see that this person is doing that. What they say is what they do. They, um,. If they tell you they're going to do something, they're going to do it. They're going to follow through with it. Maybe a little bit of time, okay? Give yourself up to three months for this person to make their way in for you. By March, possibly. They're not going to put you in the box and feeling dead, all right? Not going to leave you in lack. Emperor. Seven of Cups. There's the goes the blessings. Try not to, you know become too crazy when this person comes in in La La Land, you know, when we like people, we tend to like fantasize and just daydream about them, you know, make sure that you're, you're pulling your, your energy back a little bit, but I do feel like they're bringing in opportunities and gifts for you, Libra, Five of Wands, there's gonna be a couple people, people are not going I don't feel like people are going to wonder about you guys. They're going to be wondering. Somebody may feel like, were you already dealing with this person? Were you being a thief with the Seven of Swords? Was you hiding this person prior to deading a connection? So there may be some people that will be bothered over you guys coming together with this person, but you're not allowing. Nothing can come involved in this loving Ten of Cups. Divine connection, wish fulfillment between the two. No, I see the Wheel of Fortune in this, so it's highly blessed, highly favored, highly protected connection between you and this person, so fuck it, fuck it up, the universe, you're gonna be traveling with this person, your, your divine team is basically dropping down on you and giving you a lifeline, pulling you up by your arm, pulling you up and placing you somewhere else to root you rooting you 
So lifting you up, straightening your back. Maybe you have posture problems or some. You go into a chiropractor and you you know you go to that chiropractor and you just get everything cracked and you you just you rise up. You may be from Australia or Austria. The Queen of Wands, Leo Aries Sage. This person opens you up to new possibilities. They shine some type of light on you. They can make you feel real sexy too. This person makes you feel sexy. Um, they could be a bookworm. This person could be a little bit of a bookworm. They like they like you know learning things and discovering things. They like to experiment. It's looking good. Let's get a lover's message since it's it's nice and loving energy. You may have very big blue eyes. The time is coming for you. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So don't try to bring this into. It will happen naturally and automatically. There's nothing that you need to do more than work on yourself. Love yourself so much that somebody has to come in love the fuck out of you and show you that intimacy and bedroom time, bedroom eyes, sexual union, you got sexy time coming in. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So this is going to be a very blissful connection. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. What did I just say? Focus on yourself and this will naturally, organically come into you. Love it. Friendship first. This is gonna be your friendship before anything else could be a twin flame union your yin to, to your yang friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve twin flame flame your passion ignites so it goes from a, a nice friendship togetherness to igniting this this sexual union between the two of you Ooh, la, la. All right, enjoy this, guys. Uh, follow me, TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, every Thursday night over here also. Uh, follow on Instagram, Roots and Rewards. The more places you follow, the easier it is for me to pull on your energy to give you the best guidance possible. Personal reads, sexy time reads, multi-card reads can be booked uh, in the description box up below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, throw me up an emoji. Give me some feedback on how these reads resonate with you what's going on with you and uh that's it keep yourself in high regard and i think i did all the zodiac signs so i'm gonna try to get a twin flame read out for you guys um this week all right so just be patient with me uh if not i will see you thursday night and next week have yourself a great week and a great weekend bye guys